There we go, I started the recording again. My apologies, I have trouble reading and writing, so uh, I do have uh, some issues reading the chat here and there. And normally I do this uh, together with, uh, with my friend, but uh, he is unable to be reached at the moment. <laughs> but in the future he should be more available, like he's studying for college and all that kind of stuff, so he's kind of busy. Yeah, I, I wanted to start in my EK as well. But I want to craft and try out uh, a new parcel, but I needed resources for that. So I, I kind of was forced to go into the campaign mode. And also because you can like barely, uh, like the, you are limited on how much you can export and import. So I don't want to go over that limit because once I'm fully prepared, I want to like import some stuff. And I definitely want to export some uh, some stuff, but uh, I, I'm not ready for that yet. Like they literally reset it, uh, everything on the EKs and the uh, campaign world. So now everything is reset. It I can start over. Just make, make sure that I have another axe. Then we're just gonna try again. Um, see, we also need a stone. This time I will craft a sword before I go out. <laughs> but where, where's my inventory bar? I don't see my inventory. Um, yeah, I think my character is bugged. Uh, exit the lobby and then let's try to get back in again. Do that yet. We yeah, should move this one a little bit down. Uh, worlds campaign enter. Uh, let's see, I have my hammer. Let's get some stone. See, we need more stone. Then at least I have a sword so I can slap him back in the face, you know. And I should also craft a shield. Some basic armor, but... I need cinema! Uh, let's see, I have two stone. Eight wood. I have more. Yeah, those markers need a little bit more work. I think you going. Oh god, hey. Come on, pick up. Uh, let's see, craft. 
my hammer was about to break, so I definitely need a new one. I know, honestly, this game really should be played with a group of people. Like, I'm playing alone right now because uh, uh, my friend, is, uh, he does have a Crowfall account, but he lost his password, so he, and he's really busy lately, so he's not been able to play. Plus, he doesn't have the, the, um, the package that I have, so he will be joining later on uh, once the beta comes out. Uh, let's see, I need basic weapon. Oh crap, I need six stone for that and six wood. Uh, I have enough stone now, now I need wood. Should be enough wood for at least a sword. It's not much, but at least I can uh, fight back. Yeah, I already have um, a mining uh, rune, as you can see. But uh, I guess I can make another one. Uh, let's see, I have a sword now. Now I need shield. Some armor would be nice as well, but I don't want to waste too much time uh, farming. Because that's just boring stuff. But let's see what do I actually need for it. Ore stone, yeah, I need everything. Um, let's get a little bit of ore then. So I can at least craft a rune. And that boss that took my mining pickaxe. Um, I guess I should also, um, since I have a room, I should also have an extra ability. Oh, it's already equipped. Yeah, I need to wait until I have the other one. I need to wait. And I think that other rune that I had before the wipe was a um, was a skinning uh, one.
So I have a little bit more. Uh, oops. Uh, let's see. Discipline. I always get confused with these. I want underdog. See, that's weapon. How am I digging? I think digging was for health, if I'm not mistaken. If it comes to, to Crowfall, uh, because I can't read, it's a little bit more difficult for me to figure stuff out. I have to go by memory alone. Um, so I might do some really stupid uh, mistakes, and I think I already have... What's it called? Yeah, I already have this one. Log out. I think this one was for... Uh, for the trees. I think. Should I go for the stone? I think this one was for trees. I'm not quite sure. Um, increase harvesting. Weaker spot chance. Pass of this, and yeah, I guess I can take it. Should I go for a different one? Ah, go for this one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it this one. Finish him. <laughs> just the name, finish him. I just, I, I, I love it. What does it give me again? Passive, uh, execute ability damage. Oh, why not? Take it. At least now I have a little bit now. I need at least one more. I think it was this one. No. Preferably, I'm going for shield. But I guess I could also go for sword. But I use my shield more, so I'm going this, and then I need to make shield. I really should get some more practicing with uh, with this stuff, but it's a lot easier if you have like uh, a player next to you on a voice chat saying, "Hey, this does this item does this, or you need this." You know, it would be a lot easier than just like constant read stuff. Mm. Let's see, basics, basic armor. Basic shield, I need wood, wood, wood or stone, and I don't have any wood, so I get some wood, then I'll make a shield. Okay, I have a little bit of wood now, but not nearly enough. Uh, I need 12 at least.
Um, and there was something else I also needed. Oh yeah. Skills. Uh, I don't know if I want to replace this. I guess I can replace that one. That should do it. I think we can, now I can do that. It's this one. Okay, I have it equipped, but I don't see it. Just be equip one or something. Okay, now I have two equip. Oh, okay. just need a shield and then I, at least I can defend myself. And hello to you too, and I think I need to lower this because I will not be able to see the jet anyway. Here we go. Um, to answer your question if the game is playable, well it is kind of playable, but it's still full of bugs because it's still a pre-alpha, so... You can expect a lot of bugs and stuff, and depending on where you are, uh, you might have some lag issues. But it's definitely fun to do, uh, play the game. As in, uh, there is some stuff to do. You can kill people, you can farm, you can build, uh, you can kill NPCs, if I'm not mistaken. But as I said, it, it still com it still has some bugs here and there, and there are a lot of um, sad people that literally kill anybody that they see, even if they're unarmed or not, and they will take your stuff. So I would not, uh, I would definitely not recommend playing this alone. I'm playing it alone because I have nobody else to play with. But uh, oh God, the chat is going further than I can actually see. Um, bear with me. I need to scroll down. There we go. Like, I've been already butt fucked already. Uh, but I was just trying to get some wood. And I just had like a basic crafted tools, and he took all, he took almost everything that I had on me. So that's how sad people are at the moment. I mean, just chop down a tree with a basic axe and you can craft all of that stuff, you know? It's like, what's the point? Are you just that sad and pathetic? But that's just my opinion. And yes, I'm being salty. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I would love to see fights like those, but uh, I, I wasn't playing in, um, like, because it's still pre-alpha, not many people have uh, early access uh, to the game. 
So it's a little bit more difficult to get players um, to play with you, unless you actually know them. And everything that you see now might be completely different once the game releases. So, but it does give you a slight advantage on how the game mechanics work, what the basics are, and what and um, stuff like that. So you do have like a slight advantage. Yeah, it doesn't happen constantly. Um, they're they're still doing like a lot of tweaking to the to the game, and as I said, it's still pre-alpha, and you can see it as well in the top right of the screen. Profile pre-alpha version five point three point five. So the, there you have it. it. It speaks for itself, you know. Like they changed the UI like a month ago or something like that. It was looked completely different. Um, so yeah, there are definitely changes. Like they changed the VIP, how it works, uh, because there were like a little bit more unfair advantages, but they balanced it out. So it's a little bit less pay to win. Like you can get uh, like uh, VIP, but you can trade that with other players. So you can't really say like, oh, I don't have VIP. I'm so underpowered, you know, it's not like that at all. So. It just allows you to have slightly some extra stuff, but it, I wouldn't say it gives you more power. You will still do the same damage than any other player, so it doesn't benefit you in that sort of way. At least not that I know of. But that, they're still changing a lot of stuff, so everything that I say now can and probably will change once the game releases, so don't expect everything that I say is the truth as of yet. Even the stuff that I show you now can completely change. Like, we're still testing this. And, uh, yeah, the, 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 there's still a lot of tweaking going on. Like, I've seen people literally get stuck in respawning rocks. And basically, you're just fucked because you can't do anything. Yeah, no problem. Like, as it looks right now, it's pre-alpha and it already looks like this. Just imagine how the game would look once it's completely polished and finished. Like, just the details already. Just look at the ground and the grass. And I do have everything cranked up to the maximum that it allows me to. But even the houses, just look at the details. Like, if I really stand close to the house, just look at the cracks and, and the different textures on the stone on the house itself. I mean, for pre-alpha, it looks pretty awesome already. Like, let's see if we can see some details inside of the house. Like, even the wood planks on the house. They have, like, little cracks on them and extra textures. And there aren't... Actually, in this house, there isn't much to see. But as you can see, there... It looks pretty nice already. Even these stones that you can mine, I mean, the textures look pretty nice. And when you crack them, like, literally smash them, they will break. And that's all an alpha stage, so... Just imagine how it will probably look. Like, if you would ask me, if there were no bugs, I think this game is pretty much finished, as of what I can see right now. Like... This is already in, uh, and they're still adding more. Like, there aren't guilds yet in the game, but you can register for a guild. We already managed to recruit, like, a couple of people, but they haven't accepted the invites yet. But uh, we do have a guild. We're planning to, like, be one of the best guilds that is out there. But we cannot do it alone, you know. We do need people, and there are other people that are way more organized than I am or like my other friends that are helping me with this uh, but we have to start somewhere and because we're just a bunch of people together uh, yeah 
there's still a lot of stuff that we need to take care of. Like uh, the website, for example, we do have the copyright names for that. Uh, we do have the guild name registered and reserved. Um, what else? We have some items for the guild itself. But an official website, we don't have it yet. Because we actually need somebody that can encode and stuff and like that. And we haven't had the time for it yet. Um, but we do have everything up, set up and running. We have like a voice chat server. We have like a person that literally hosts everything for us. <coughs> that would be me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, we're still setting up like a lot of stuff. Like game analogy hasn't been a lot around for that long. Uh, it was basically a project that started at some point and a lot of things came in between like uh, we wanted to do a lot more game reviews and stuff like that but uh, we kind of grew apart or like college and stuff like that or money issues and we didn't have much uh, to go on but uh, with the game profile coming out uh, we're actually planning on like playing this and really dive into this as well and start to build up like a proper game community that just loves to play games and enjoys having fun with friends, you know, just relax, chill, have fun, do PvP, storyline, kill bosses, go farm, build like a whole economy, you know, and that's what we're aiming for. And also, besides from Crowfall, we also do more reviews. Um, we, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven people in my head that I know that will join the guild. So those seven people will be basically the core team, most of it. I know at least three people, uh, we're going to be like almost online every day, uh, which would be, uh, one of the officers, for an example. Uh, he will be uh, in charge of the PvP areas, like uh, if we need PvP or kill raid bosses or stuff like that. Uh, he will be in charge in, uh, in that department. Uh, then we have another person, one of the officers, that's going to be in charge of farming uh, and stuff like that. Then we have another per person that will be in charge in housing and the economy, such as building and make sure that that people can trade and all that stuff like markets and all that stuff uh, he will be in charge of that and so we have like every single person that does something for the guild uh, we also plan we have an officer that is also willing to help other players out such as like which runes to use uh, which skills to go for and that kind of stuff we also have a person for that so you will get help if you ask for it but because it's still pre-alpha, there's still a lot of changes going on. So there's no point on setting that stuff up yet because it will change. So if we put work into it right now and they change it, then we have to do it again, you know? So it's kind of pointless on like go full bore on like setting that kind of stuff up. But we do have certain things planned out in which role would which officer will have. Like I said, for one for PvP and go full war, uh, capture and all that kind of stuff, like the strategist. Then we have a person that helps out other players, such as which items to use and so on. So yeah, we, we already have that kind of stuff already set up. But we're we're literally just waiting now for the wait this is oh wait this is a shield oh crap I need a little bit more wood the uh, stone uh, I need an axe but we are working on it but we cannot do it alone like like I said we have the core roughly set up we just need members to join us that are willing to fight alongside us and 
have fun, you know, that's, that's what it's all about, to have fun, enjoy the game, like, just imagine you come back home from work and you're exhausted and you just want to log on, have fun and just do stuff, you know, like, we had a lot of drama in, like, previous guilds in, like, for example, World of Warcraft, we were really active players, but there was always drama in the guilds that we joined and we didn't quite have, like, enough people to actually push to Mythic and so on. Like, we did, like, Heroics and Mythic that we were aiming for, and once we are finally ready to do Mythic, mythic raiding, there were, like, a lot of bunch of wankers who were like, yeah, I want to be an officer. Then they became an officer, and, like, literally, like, three weeks later, they raided the guild bank, took everything out, and said, yeah, go fuck yourself, and he fucked off, and he literally took everything, and... At that point, everything collapsed, you know, so the officers will only be people that we know in real life. So if they do something that we don't agree on, that we can literally go to his house and punch him in the face, for an example. We're not going to really do it, but uh, because we're friends, you know, we kind of know what to expect from one another. I and mean, if we don't agree then we literally know where to find you, you know, that, that kind of stuff. So we're close friends that will manage the guild. And of course, we do accept help. But for the true, like, core of, like, management to, like, power-wise, I don't think, uh, at least not at this point, that we will promote uh, any outsider as an officer as of yet because of that trust issue that we had. And we don't want to go through that again because it will really ruin the fun for everyone and we're trying to prevent that. So we want to have a strong foundation that we can build on. And the building blocks will be the members of the guild. At least that's how we're planning to handle this situation. And if there's a problem, like if there are like people in the guild that uh, have like an argument, then we can talk it out. We're like, at least most of us are like grown men or grown people, you know, like grown-ups, like adults. And we decided to like, okay, it's a game. If you've done something that you don't agree on, we should be civilized and talk it out. You know, there's no need to like go at each other's head with an axe, you know. But there are limits. Like, if somebody does something, like, really, really bad, then, of course, they will be kicked from the guild. Like, we do not appreciate that somebody in the guild, for example, goes around and goes like, yeah, I will send ISIS to your house and kill your whole family. That kind of stuff, you know? We really do not appreciate that kind of bullshit. So, uh, yeah, those are things that we really draw the line is you will not do that kind of stuff. Like, I understand people can get mad and upset, but don't push your luck, you know, just like we already had like a bunch of shit happening in the past and people already went to jail for that kind of stuff. Like it really escalated that bad. Like we had a situation in one of our guilds that somebody was making a joke and some other person thought it was serious. So he called the cops and everything. So like two hours later, the cops literally dragged him to the police station. Uh, we were like kind of shocked that that stuff happened, you know, so We do draw limits on like what to say or what not to say Like we don't want that kind of stuff or like uh, Some other people might have heard it about swatting that streamers got swatted and yeah, that, that's like a lot of drama actually somebody already died um, Due to swatting like there was a guy and I think you might have heard of this was this guy that had like a fight with another Twitch streamer and he gave up a fake address, at least not his own. And then a couple of blocks, uh, they swatted that guy and they actually shot the guy on sight. Uh, so an innocent person actually died because somebody uh, called uh, a swat in, you know, and you don't do that kind of stuff. I mean, first of all, those people are already on high edge as it is. So they will fucking kill people if they have to or if they feel threatened. So we don't allow shit like that to happen. I mean, that's which kind of person does that, you know? It's like an innocent guy just died because of you, you know? 
So it's a lot of drama and we try to prevent that from happening in the future. So that's why our officer team will be mostly made out of friends that we trust and we know so we can avoid all of that stuff. Yeah, the police can fuck up too, but as I said, if they call like something in like a suicide bomber or stuff like that, those people are on high edge. Keep in mind, they think they're going to be attacking or arresting a terrorist that has a, a bomb on his belt, for example. You know, like, so those people are already on high edge as it is. So in order to protect themselves, they will shoot, even though if it if it's like a fake uh, a fake calling, you know, it's like it's, it's better safe than sorry. So they will shoot in order to protect themselves. I mean, just imagine being the police, for example, and you're standing against a guy and you know that he might have a gun and will be able to kill you. What would you do? Just stand up, oh yeah, shoot me. No, of course not. You will pull out your gun and you aim your gun at him. I mean, which idiot would just stand there and like say, yeah, go ahead, shoot me, you know? It's like, unless you have a death wish, then yeah. But of course you're gonna be on high edge, you know? It, it's part of their job. But yeah, of course, everybody makes mistakes. Even me, like, I, uh, I'm not the brightest out there either. But if I make a mistake, then I'll have my friends to back me up, you know? Or at least try to, like, uh, resolve the issue and fix my mistake. Um, let's see, I forgot what... Oh yeah, I was making a hammer. But that's just my opinion. Okay, have a good one. Uh, let's see. Ah, <sighs> big item. Uh, I got my hammer now. Oh yeah, I needed a shield, so I needed a little bit more stone. Um, the spirit bank, uh, the thing is with the spirit bank is you can only import and export like a certain amount. As you can see on the screen, the import is at the moment, uh, 53 because I already, uh, exported and imported some stuff. Uh, export is 60 and the import is normally 60 as well once it's reset. Uh, so every time you import something, it will be reduced and once it's on zero you will no longer be able to import stuff from the campaign mode so i recommend saving up like a full stack of something that you really need such as uh proper wood and not the non-wood because you can get that in your personal kingdom as well so i would really recommend stuff oh, sh oh please don't tell me it spawned on me okay but sometimes uh, items will spawn and uh, you will be stuck in them, so you have to be careful. It's one of the bugs. And I cannot pick up the stone. Oh, I have 900. 1600 MS. 1700 MS. 1921 MS. Oh, my ping is going through the roof. I think they're updating the server or something. Or hot fixing something. Okay, it's going back down again. Um, yeah, the spirit bank. Like I said, you can only import and export so much. So all the basic stuff, I would definitely recommend not exporting or importing that stuff. Because you literally can... Uh, you can get them in your personal kingdom as well. So only like really valuable stuff, such as these crystals, for example. Uh, they only drop in the campaign mode, so that's what you can in and export. But I wouldn't recommend doing that to the basic non-wood. So I would literally just save up a proper stack 
before you do that. Um, you could do that, but as it is right now, if you die, you will be they will be able to take all of your stuff. So keep in mind on what you take and bring. Uh, and like I said, I would not recommend playing this alone. If you're in a group of people, if you die, then your friends can protect your body and give you enough time to collect your corpse, which would provide all of the stuff that you have on you. But you will need your friends to be able to protect you if you die. Like if you die, they can loot your stuff. So it's not really uh, wise to bring your stuff because they can take it from you. So if you're bring, bringing stuff, it would be a little bit uh, of a waste, but that's my point of view. But they might change that when the game goes live, but as it stands right now, if you die, they can take everything. So that's why I don't really want to run around with uh, crafted stuff, because it will take you some time to do. You do more damage and you can take a little bit more damage. Uh, I give him that. But, like I said, if you die, you will lose your stuff. So, definitely not something you want to do on your own. But if you're with a group of friends, they can protect you. At least to a certain amount. Like, for example, if I was in a group with five, for example, then a single player would think twice before attacking me. Because he knows if he comes too close, he will die himself. And then we can take his stuff instead. But then again, if you have 25, 25, then yeah, it will be a different story. But still, I mean, those are epic battles. But for farming wise, um, I would still recommend the group. Like at least a group that can protect you. Or have like helping you mine, but it's better to have like a group of five than alone, you know? Like all five miners, they can do some damage. So a single player will not attack them because it will be one against five, you know? I'm just playing alone right now because I want to see what they have done so far. And I want to share this experience with the rest of, uh, of you all, so. That's why I'm streaming, I'm playing alone, and that's part of the reason. But once I got the... If I don't die, then uh, I'll, I'll try to collect some non-wood, or some, uh, some normal wood. And... Uh, and try to... Uh, call it? Try to craft one of those new puzzles, but I need uh, normal wood. Because I would really, would really, 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 really love to see or show off one of those really big puzzles, you know, like uh, where the castle was built on. Like uh, it has like level rank three uh, mining resources nodes. And that place is massively huge. Like, I think it's like nine blocks, if I'm not mistaken. Like, nine parcel blocks. So, it's really, really big. Yes, this is the pre alpha, as you can see on the top side of the screen. Uh, I don't think I can show my mouse, I think. Oh crap, no. I clicked something. Uh, I don't know, yeah, you can see my mouse. Uh, it's, uh, if you look here, once I close down the menu, you will see the pre-alpha. Actually, if I... No, I don't think I can close this down and... Oh shit. And I think I'm gonna crash the game. Yeah, I think the game is gonna crash. 
Well, that's a pre-alpha for you. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will start the game back up again. Don't worry. So once the game goes live, you will not uh, have these bugs anymore. So we are testing it so you guys can play it once it gets released. Um, let's see. Password. Oh, and, uh, and the protection on this is quite nice. Uh, like they have like these uh, uh, two FA uh, key codes that are constantly changing, and uh, it it's quite nice. Just waiting for the update and complete. And also, when you see the loading screen, you can see it as well, pre-alpha. As you can see, world, pre-alpha, big world, live, Yeah, um, I'm I'm also really amazed about the progress that they made with Crowfall. I mean, when I first started to play the Alpha, they hadn't had that much. Like they did have some things in it, but uh, it wasn't as polished as it is right now. Like the UI completely changed, the skill tree completely changed, the uh, the textures on the houses changed completely. They have like so much new stuff. Like these rocks didn't have these textures on them. So you couldn't really uh, know which rock you were hitting unless you actually hovered over. But there's still a lot of testing going on. So they actually at what they're testing now, uh, or the previous test was that they were testing the uh, capture mode. Uh, like uh, capturing like the castle and like uh, forts and all that kind of stuff. But from what I've heard and what I've seen from the videos from Crowfall, I'm actually quite uh, intrigued. Like this is nothing compared to all the other MMOs out there. Like once this game is launched, I think it will be one of the best games MMOs that are out there. Like, you don't have, you don't need a monthly subscription to play. So that's a major, major step towards uh, a lot of players, because these days, like, uh, you need a subscription for this and for that to be just be able to play a game on top of buying the game itself. So that. For me, it was a big uh, downside for, like, for example, World of Warcraft. Like, it was so addictive to play because you paid money in order to be able to play. So, and you didn't want to quite waste that. So you were basically forced to play. But with this is completely different. And I don't think this should happen that a tree spawns inside of a rock. And the choices that you have with this as well is that you don't have to be tied to one specific class. Like if you die, you could just pick something else. You can just swap around. But let's see, can I actually, yeah, I can actually show you the skill tree. Like the skill trees now, as you can see, they look completely different what they used to look like. And to go a little bit more advanced, I can actually go to this and I can actually expand them like a lot more. And as you can see, it looks completely different. And that's just, that's just one part. If I actually click on it, it will expand even further. 
So as you can see, I'm working towards the uh, economy. Because personally, I'm more like a builder. So after this one is completed, I'll probably go for this one. And then uh, probably one of these. And they also have like this little time thing. Let's see, I'm actually a little bit interested in... Um, I think it was this one. Because this is the tree. Or the stone uh, crafter is actually the one that can craft parcels. It falls under the stone. So I think I'm gonna go for the stone first. But it will take some time. But as you can see, they have like this time bank. So if you're offline, it will start ticking up. And you can use that time to speed up your research. Which is really handy. But this may change as well. But at least you get a sneak peek on how it looks right now and what the designer's planning to do. Like, you know, honestly, if I wasn't so busy farming this stuff, and I actually have... Uh, oh yeah, I can craft a shield now. Let's do that. Uh, so I can at least go out there. And get some wood. I should also make some armor, but I don't want to farm too much. I actually want to show you guys what they what is out there. So I'm going to a. Let's see, where is it? Where's the spawn point? If you can find the spawn point, I oh there it is. I'm gonna deposit some stuff in the bank, so if I die that they uh, they don't get resources that I got so far. They could take my shield and uh, sword and my mining tools, but I can craft it without any issue. So let's dump that in the chest. And I don't care if they take that other stuff. I can get that, no issue. At least now I can defend myself a little. Let's see, combat. Just making sure that I have most stuff on my bar. And again, my apologies if I'm not completely following it yet, because I have a lot of trouble reading. So don't feel too offended if I don't read the chat. It's not intentionally. Let's try it again to see if we can get some wood. I'm gonna stay a little. I'm gonna try to stay a little bit closer to the thingy. So if I if I notice that I'm gonna lose, which I probably will, uh, <laughs> that I could at least run back. And there's another. Actually, I'm gonna see if we own that over there, because I do know that they have some items in there. But it depends if we own it or not. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, this campaign was full PvP. So the world might not be as big as I thought it would be. And I need to make sure that we own it. 
and it doesn't look like it. Or do we? Can't see it from this distance. Oh, we do own it. Okay. Yeah, it looks like we own it. That's good because then I can actually show you uh, some of the buildings that are in there. Uh, demolishing stuff is already in as well. Like the, these walls can actually be destroyed. So that's also uh, quite awesome. And if you want to build them up, you actually need the resources for it, which is pretty cool. And I should be able to show you some other stuff like this one for example. this is the necromancing uh, stuff and there's like a lot of details just look at that and this is still pre-alpha that looks still so awesome doesn't it like these hearts yeah i know it's buggy but it, it, it looks pretty nice don't you say look at the details on this Like even the head. I'm trying to zoom into the head. Look at that. And the dripping blood from the table. It's a lot of details for, for pre-alpha. There's some eyeballs. Some bones. Oh, those bones have also nice textures on them. But yeah, there's still some bugs here. But can't complain too much. Um, I don't quite understand that question. Oh, by the way, the guild uh, does have one of these relics. So we will be able to get buffs and stuff like that. So we already have that. This is one of the capture points. And these are one of these NPCs. These are one of the guards. They don't look that bad, to be honest, for pre-alpha. This is one of the uh, smithy tables. Let's see, what is it? I think this is an empty house. Oh, there are some items in that house. Oh, they have like food on the table. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna be, uh, at least for testing, I don't think so on the campaign side. Because it's still pre-alpha, so, and they're still working on it so much. So I don't think they have an EU uh, server as of yet. They might have it later on, but not uh, at the moment. Okay, this is one of, an this is another bug that they need to fix. Floating tables. And this is the room crafting table. They actually have some... Uh, you can actually see the little stones on that plate. They actually have like uh, engravings on them. So it's, uh, it's quite nice to see the details that they have already into this. User joined your channel. And hello user. I cannot see your name as of yet. Oh, it's you. Uh, try to uh, restart your uh, TS. You're cracking like a crazy one, crazy mofo. User disconnected from your channel. And that would be the uh, other officer that will be uh, in charge of the PvP uh, stuff. User joined your channel. Welcome back. Hi. What's up? 
Feel f- um, sick. Oh, that's bad. Feel free to uh, to join the uh, live stream, LJ. They, there are actually some people in there. They might have some questions for you. If you don't mind. I don't mind. I follow the definition of like getting drowsy as that. Um. Okay. T- What's the link again? Uh, it's the game knowledge you want. Give me a second. Give me a second. By the way, I've seen uh, one of the new members uh, join the TS earlier. Yeah, so. I'm... Oh, by the way, uh, we need to uh, remind me after the live stream that I set up a Twitch uh, or Twitter account for the Gameology one. Okay. Oh, is that a player? Yeah, that is a player. And it seems... Oh, they actually have a rune axe. I would love to kill him, but... I know it's kind of sad, you know, so I'd rather not. Like, I don't want to scoop down to, um... Wait, what? Is this incomplete? Looks like incomplete. Yeah, it is incomplete. I need lumber. Oh, I can actually show you guys, uh... Okay, what? Did I just throw it out? Oh, don't tell me I threw it out. I think I did. Or it needs more. Um, I need it to stay offline. Shouldn't be. Um, I need to find the lumberjack. You gave me... Oh, that's a dashboard, by the way. You removed the dashboard part. Oh god, fuck me. I was like, why the fuck did it take me to the mine? What the fuck is going on? Oh. Um, I'm not familiar with the map, so, oh god, please don't crash. So, I need to see if I can find the lumberjack in order to finish that building. By the way, did you check out that new game? Um, what they call it? Hunter or something. Uh, yeah, I did check it out, but I don't own the game yet. The game is not out yet. It's, there, there is a counterpart for, for it on PC. I'll need to check it out later. It's a good game. It's, uh, yeah, Monster Hunter. Pure, 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 pure PvE. Like, it doesn't get any PvE than this. Eh, yeah, it's a PvE part. Well, I'll check it out later. I think. I know, you're busy with a shiny sword on your blonde hair. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep, let's... and Pizza Pizza Hut, uh, uh, Papa John's fucking shoulder, I mean, uh, shield. Yep. I, I have almost no, I literally, the only thing that I have on me is like a sword and a shield. No armor See, okay. whatsoever. I have no problem walking like this. But I'm a type of person that likes the, uh, dislike building cubes and shit. Yeah, leave all that building to me. Like, I know you're one of the PvP, uh, PvP guys. PvP, PvE, just tell me where to go, where to hit, how to coordinate, build a team, and here we go. Boom. Exactly. Oh, just dimension. See how things are to get it. Fall, fall game. Try out. Go pro lanes. Okay, just... Yeah, 
Okay, I don't have an interface for that one. This is the stone one. We, we can go pro. I would love to go pro with this. Uh, dang, I should I should read and correct oh, my shit. sentences before I hit enter. <laughs> um, that's the enemy yeah, player. Man. Don't don't worry, dude. Mar Marv is dyslexic, so it's like or all the gibberish in the world. I kind of know. Like right now, uh, the weird parts are like maybe fucking Plut Plutuish English. See, I need to. Where am I? I'm here now. You're here now, but where will you be in the ten, ten minutes from now? So what are you doing, Mark? This is a campaign. For your own yes. kingdom. Yes, this is the campaign. Uh, I'm trying to get some uh, oh, fine, some, some proper wood. Don't worry about it, about texting, like man. Where, like, I have ADHD. He he has uh, dyslexia. Join the club. <laughs> no problem. We troll each other from time to time, but like, not too hard, you know. Some people are sensitive. I don't know. Thing. It's all good fun. Yeah. I mean, you we... know, like you, you have those some those people that just take take it really offensively. Like, oh my God, uh, my grandma died and she had a rash, and you're make fun of make, make fun of my rash. Like, what the fuck, dude? It's a rash. <laughs> You can cover I the rash I, with ash. Yeah, dude, dude, wait, wait. I see my dog humping, and now when I see a dog hump, okay, I cry from the inside. I miss my dog humping. So what the fuck, dude? What kind of messed up, fucked up family you've been in? <laughs> God damn it! And above that all, that you still have that pizza, pizza fucking shield. Oh my god, a sword and a shield, I mean what the fuck, and you, st and you still don't even, you didn't even, what the, dude have some heels, 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 shoes, anything. I need they the, go. I need the mind. Go, go, pro effect camera, should be 20% closer to the character, and offer more view of the surround, oh well, on that I agree, on that I, I sincerely agree, honestly, like, they should like increase our like distance the view of the camera 20 percent it would be nice because like like look at look at the camera although although marv uh, resolution is high by the way not like uh, 1080 he's high, he's above that so uh with us yeah, you have we kind of we won't see that these small parts at the edges so i think yeah they are they need to increase the camera See, can I actually uh, change it? I don't think I can change the distance. At least not yet. Like some things are still... Uh, they're still being tweaked. But for pre-alpha, I mean, come on. They can still change the distance and all that stuff. It's just like if people uh, go onto the forum... Warcraft. That has effect on what? Every should go pro. The title go pro. Reason why it's fun to walk around the world. Well, mm, I agree and disagree. Look, I, I played the game. Forget what it's called. But you actually just click on the quest, and the quest will go there, and and the, the NBC will actually hit the main, hit the shit, or farm the shit. Look, I have no problem with it, and I have no problem of like people using it because eventually people will bot, eventually people will do this stuff. But let give people what actually is there, uh, like um, like, what? How can I say this? Something that's RNG based or color, th something with that. Well, put it this way: if there are bots 
already being made. Uh, I guess yeah, there are just, bots just being made right theory. now. But... Like, dude, it's a perfect theory. Like, at the end of the game, we will know that there will be a lot of bots. This game will be famous as fuck, and there will be a lot of bots. Let's, okay. Like, not like every other MMO. Okay. Let there be bots. Fuck it. You want to destroy the economy? Fuck you. But there are special things that bots can do. Let me put it this way, if you see a bot in Crowfall, you will know it pretty damn fast. I mean, like I said, yeah, you, I agree. you I really should not play this alone. I mean, yeah, if... yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I agree with you guys, like seriously right now. And by the way, um, dude, if you want to join us, we're on uh, Discord. Oh yeah, well, I'm on Discord with Mark. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hear double now. No, you don't. I have it muted. So if someone comes out, see. Here we go. Well, the thing is, like, honestly, the game have major potential, but honestly, like, I, I don't want them to remove the bots. Now we're in a moderate, modern age. Like, if you think of business-wise, you know how Blizzard is actually, like, winning, is because how many times did they do a boot, like, a uh, boot? Uh, what you call it, fresh whatever Chinese bot bullshit, right? And you know how much those Chinese people or those people that make money off of gold not, not Chinese, I'm not being racist, like a lot of people, even people I know from America just do it and it gives them good money. The thing is, is like okay, they, he has no problem, he'll just buy new accounts and level it shit again till the next bot, but bot ban shit happens I mean, it's not an effective way, just banning. And there's also people, including me, I would get, I got banned five or four times, and I never even used a bot. Like, two times happened, and Marv was there, and literally I had nothing, not even one single add-on on WoW. And, I mean, that, that's just sad. I mean, okay, let that be bots. Maybe it helps the community, but... Give people that actually play the game more than they bargained for. The beginning of World of Warcraft, like that people say the glory days and the hardcore days, blah blah blah, blah bullshit. They're so cool, they're so awesome. <laughs> the the, the okay. how, Yeah, how how is it blah blah blah, blah awesome and cool and uh, 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 and milfs and tilfs and, and, and beer and shit when actually you can do a 40 man raid with 20 people there's no hardcore part of that it's only organization and that's it so in actuality it's easy but when we met, went and, and met Burning Crusade and we get introduced to Sunwell where the second and second and third boss were like guild breakers well on that point um Blizzard realized like, oh, we need to go more into casual. But the way, the direction they went to, kind of... They nerfed the shit out of World of Warcraft. Yeah, they, they, they really, really made it and went to a curve where they, they copied uh, Final Fantasy, uh, like legendary style and uh, getting other legendaries, then your weapon legendary upgrade and runes and bullshit. And they skip a whole, sorry, the expansion that was supposed to be three expansions, three expansions ago, excuse me by saying this, uh, which is an expansion that's gonna happen now. The, and all our legendary items are gone. I mean, I in I'm in love with games like this one, for example, and Warframe and some other games that we have direct support from the developers and they care about our economy. I don't mind buying or selling something in this game because if your content is that, is that good, what, where doesn't it say I shouldn't, like, it's my time. So for example, if I'm gonna sell gold, I farmed gold, I sold it to someone, I, I literally wasted my time on getting gold for that person. Is that wrong, guys? I mean, correct me. I mean, I guess if you want to sell gold or stuff, you can actually do it in the game itself by the trading district, for example. It's like you just, here, buy like a, a bunch of wood for like 10 gold or something like that. I don't know. 
yeah, like, I mean, there's no problem, like, there would be a lot of comments she he you know, and a lot of talk and stuff like that but like the concept of like it, it's a reward system and an RG, rng system mixed together in in a sandbox or an open world style so at the end why not make something revolutionary at the end we will always have bots and at the end we will always have stuff like that so why not like work around them and benefit from them like, imagine all of these years, all of these bots were there, but instead they get less money and we get more money because they're actually players. So well, imagine all these accounts, we're getting buffed instead of now from 2015, Blizzard stopped spending like their statistics. Put it this way, if you see a bot in Crowfall, for example, uh, it wouldn't benefit a bot at all, at least at the moment because if loot drops other players can pick it up as well so if you see a bot you could just pick up all the stuff that he mines before he's able to yeah so you can cheat around the cheater you know yeah yeah but I, then again also. it's still pre-alpha so i uh, they may change this to personal i don't know i mean it's all in development i mean there will always be bots. should impale bots in the game, so you would have a third-party program doing it. No. Any pack. Well, look. Um. The word. Think about it. Okay, you are correct. I'm not saying you're wrong, but if you think about it, Razer and other applications that use mouse and keyboard, okay, uh, are third-party programs. And I personally got banned. You mean because I was uh, using Razer? Like this one. This is my uh, the software for my keyboard and mouse. Like I'm using this keyboard with the with the with the uh, displays and everything. But you can also like set up like these extra keys. Let's see if can uh, like for these keys, for example. But it really depends on how you set them up like this is literally that comes with the keyboard which are the basic well, commands well, why not like we will have like two routes one route will go like okay why not make it weaker or stronger you have this like let, let's just say solution a so solution b is uh, groups for an example if you're farming in groups and and being being more um how can i say this more into uh, group play and team play and an MMO, you will actually enhance and people will actually benefit from them at times. I mean, honestly, if I'm gonna play the game and I'll be with you guys, I, I would require you guys to be aligned and we're gonna farm one spot so we can at least not be bothered with other people. That's why we're starting early because it has potential. Like even the key bindings that I have is just the normal key binding. They're not like complete macro change, you know, such as yeah, like but you still one gonna button get five commands. According to wow. According to wow. Like for example, my side buttons can be like used to like get the tools that I need. But nothing yep. in particular. Yep. Uh... It doesn't really give me an advantage over other players. Well, just a slight advantage that I can use my mouse instead of my keyboard. See that I agree with you. The the botters and the hacks. I dis I don't mind botters. They're like lamb for the slaughter. If you're a pro, I mean honestly, honestly, I I I am. I don't know you guys, but I do like may say okay, you might be above average, above average player. Have, having a boss against you, or overactioning you, or doing shit, or being better than you, is... Like, there's no way in hell. Uh, 